Hey, welcome to another Blu-ray collection update. Don't mind the sound in the background. Somebody's just doing some renovations. And there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> so if you hear a little bit of buzzing or hammering or something, hey, just go with it. Just think it's part of the, the ambiance of my video. In this video, we are going to be talking about Scorpion releasing Blu-rays. Yes, this is my Scorpion releasing Blu-ray collection as of 2015, everything I have. Now, they have a ton of um, Blu-rays that they've put out. Um, some of them are now being put out by Kino. Uh, other though, others, I believe, are available through Screen Archives. Um, I think that's how they've set up their distribution now. Um, but before that, I you know, they used to, I think, he used to distribute them himself. I could be wrong, but either way, you could get them in stores. I do know I saw them in stores, um, and then they started, you know, they'd be in there. You'd have one copy, and then a month later, they're gone, and you never find them again. So definitely something you want to look into if at, you're into um, old cheeseball comedies, horror films, um, and that kind of uh, a vein, because they do put out a lot of good... Uh, lesser known titles that uh, are definitely worth checking out um, so yeah what do I what do I what do I have in my collection that's what you wanted to that's what you came here for right so let's go over that first up is mortuary this is Bill Paxton young young Bill Paxton look at that I think it might be his first role I can't remember but yeah fun little film it's not for everybody it's not as um uber packed as some other films but it's still awesome um, another one that I really really love if you like nature run amok type films day of the animals where essentially all these different animals you see on the cover eventually you know are, are attacking humans um, it also has a great um, Leslie Nielsen you know Mr. Naked Gun himself um, in one of uh, a role, a role you just would not normally see him in. Um, next up, one a film that's uh, essentially hard to find these days. I, I think uh, Code Red may have them still on their big cartel site. I don't know. And that's The House on Sorority Row. You can find the DVD for this pretty easy on eBay, but if you're looking for this Blu-ray, it does tend to go for a few dollars. Um, this is the two-disc edition. Um, it's, uh, yeah, uh, t in terms of slashers, it's not the, the best one, and you expect more with a sorority house thing going on, you know, a little bit more sex, a little bit more sleaze, but, eh, it's kind of tame. <laughs> uh, next up, yes, almost as if taking, uh, a page out of Black Christmas, <laughs> don't answer the phone, just don't answer the phone. <laughs> Why? Because, well, you know, bad things happen, right? So, yeah. I mean, what, what else? What are you going to say about this? Don't answer the phone. Uh, whoa. Dropping legs here. Don't want to. Uh, yes, everyone is dying to meet Girly. It's a film I haven't actually watched yet, but I will eventually get to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's from, I don't know, does it have the date on 1969 1969 with a female I'm guessing a female killer it has on the back here a macabre combo of Disney and Hammer films don't know about you but that sounds awesome next up Screamers Screamers um, this is Roger Corman I believe produced this one uh, and it's uh, mutant mutant fish guys. I guess it would be how you describe it. Um, I mean, the cover looks cool, but it doesn't really tell you much about the film. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely. If, if you're if you're into Corman films, um, then you got you got to be picking up Screamers. You just you just got it right. So get on that. And then finally, I know, you're thinking, finally, you don't have as many as I would have thought. No, I don't. There's probably a good 20 or so more releases I gotta pick up. And next up, um, 
this is a film that kind of has, I, would you call it a remake? It's kind of a, a remake of a, an old Corman um, film. Maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to watch them closer to each other than to really say if it isn't or not, but it's Island Claws. As you can see, Attack of the Killer Giant Crabs. I guess that's what that is. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's fun. It is a lot of fun. It is definitely worth something that, you know, checking out if you're into the giant monster movies, which, you know, you gotta be into the giant monster movies. Who's not into giant monster movies? They're giant monster movies. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, if you know the Scorpion releasing catalog, whether it be, you know, directly from Scorpion or through Code Red's uh, website or uh, Screen Archives or, like I said, uh, something released by Kino, and it's not in what I just showed you, but I, it's a must-own, post down below, let me know, because, um, like I said, there are a lot of releases from Scorpion releasing that... I want to have in my collection, but I kind of have to prioritize them because I can't just buy them all at once. So there you go, Scorpion releasing collection. Not not very big, but what are you gonna do, right? You own what you can afford, and I've already can't afford what I own. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Till next video. Take care. Have a good one.